What's up, Nightlife family? Nick here with Nightlife Kennel. Hope y'all are doing well. So a few weeks ago, I had a guy from China reach out to me and said that his company makes lights geared towards coon hunters, predator hunters, pretty much anybody who does hunting needs a good light. And he wanted to send me a light and let me do a review video on it. Um, I did not reach out to him. He reached out to me and I told him, go ahead and send me one. Only stipulation was I was brutally honest about products, especially when I come to show them off, recommend them to my fellow nightlife family members. I wasn't going to promote any kind of junk. So I said, as long as you're okay with the honest review, no matter what it is, if it's junk, I'm going to say if it's junk. If it's good, I'm going to say it's good. They said, no problem. Uh, be honest with you, it kind of seemed like a scam to me. Um, just the way the profile looked on Facebook. But lo and behold, about two or three weeks later, Right here it is. I got a lot in the mail. Um, the company is called Gear OZ. Um, I did a little bit of research on them. Um, they've got a we website, igearoz.com. Um, you can get a look them up on Facebook. Um, they also have them on Instagram. So uh, the company looks legit. Now this is made in China. Um, I don't know nothing about this light. I've not even broke the seal on the package and looked at it. So um, it don't look like it'd be a cap light. It's awful small box. But uh, I did look on their website and they do make cap lights. But be honest with you, a lot of their stuff looks real similar to that co rebrand stuff too. So, but anyway, we're going to open this up. You guys are going to give it a look at it the first time I do. And uh, we're going to give it once over and we'll see what we make of it. So, I appreciate you tagging along. Let's go to the bench and break this bad boy open. All right, guys. So, here it is. They uh, say this is day or night hunting. We gear you up. Flashlight model of the target. Gear OZ, uh, truly fanatics. It says uh, there's a website, Amazon link, Facebook link, uh, so on and so forth. We'll go ahead and flip around this side right here. Brand Gear OZ, uh, made in China, made in China, model target. Um, comes in a pretty nice little box. Uh, some more of their website links and stuff like that. So, all right, we're going to go ahead and break out the outdoor edge knife. See if we can't go ahead and get this thing cut open. I like this box. Of course, I would tear the box up. So, we're just going to go ahead and get on with it. Alright, so let's see what's in this bad boy. You guys seen this the same time I am for the first time. Got a little bit of foam in the top. Okay, alright, well here's what our picture's looking like. Looks like we've got a spotlight, a handheld spotlight. Some kind of pistol grip, chargers, and some green and red lens covers. Gear OZ membership. Wow, they must have some kind of membership going on. Uh, membership benefits, manufacturer warranty, technical support, chance to review our latest releases, priority sets for Gear OZ events and promotions. So, there you go, guys. Let's see if I can focus that in for you. Alright, so right here it looks like we got uh, one of the chargers. I am not a patient man when it comes to stuff like this. Yeah, USB on one end. Alright, right here is our lens covers. We got green and red. Set them to the side. Oh, here comes household charger. Plug in on the end there. This here looks like a car charger. Yep, got the car charger right here. I assume that would go with USB right there. So you can plug it up in your car or the house. Turn the light out. Nothing else in the box. Get rid of that. They wrapped it up pretty nice. I will say one thing, just looking at it right here, it feels like it's solid metal, which is good. Well, all right, so first impression, here right here, back and down is plastic, and from right here forward is metal. I think you guys can see that in the picture. Uh, it does have metal on the back right here too. So, got the Gear OZ, truly Finax target. It's got a uh, trigger right here. On the bottom, looks like where you can charge it up. And right here is your head. Pretty neat looking. There's something right inside there. I don't know if you guys can see that. I get that to focus. Right inside there. I don't know what that is. It almost looks like there's a laser right there. But I don't, surely there's not. That's almost what it looks like though. Huh. Well, 
All right, so pull the trigger. Bam. Be honest with you guys, that's, that's fairly bright. Goddamn. Oh, y'all see that? It does have a laser. See that right there? That is a laser inside there. Now, I gotta be honest with you guys, that is pretty neat. You got a bright, a dim, and a laser. Ooh, I kinda like that. You see that working right there? Hmm. So that is a laser on the left side there. That is pretty neat, I like that. Huh, pretty well built. I will say having this plastic handle right here kind of concerns me a little bit, but uh, hmm. overall, that's a pretty well built little spotlight for what it is. Um, torture test, how that would hold up, I'm not sure. That handle's not gonna last the best. This being solid metal, that looks pretty nice. Let's uh, got some threads inside of here. Let's go ahead and take this red. See how easy it is to thread this in there. This be pretty easy. Huh. Not the brightest I've seen, but not bad. Damn. Huh. All right, let's check out the green. Threads must have been buggered up a little bit. Bam, uh, that green's bright. That green is really bright. Low. Of course you got the laser. That is really nice, really cool. All right, I tell you what guys, I have just pulled this out of the box. You see me, I have not charged it yet. I'm gonna throw this on charge and uh, I'm not gonna make you guys sit here for the next hour while I charge this thing up, but uh, we'll put it on charge. And then once it's fully charged, I'll take it outside and show you guys how bright this thing is. It's got a really nice LED on the inside. I don't know how well you can see that. And uh, got a really nice reflector in there too. So, All right, we're gonna put this thing on charge. Let's see, let's go ahead and break out the charger. Look it up to my charging bank right here. That's where I charge all my sport dog stuff and all my hunting gear. And uh, let's go ahead and do this. And plugs up right there. It looks like it would go in a little deeper. I don't know if you can see that, but it don't go in any deeper. Hmm. Looks like it should. Now this right here, I don't know if you guys can see that. Sorry, camera keeps going out of focus. There's actually threads inside there, almost like you could put this on a tripod or something. Um, like if you were hunting with it, and uh, say you had a tripod set up, you put this on it, and then you had your rifle out if you was hog hunting or coyote hunting or something like that, which would make it pretty cool. Uh, you could, you know, shine on whatever field you, you was doing and then go to shooting coyotes and stuff. So that's kind of neat. But uh, we got the red light on over here on the charger. And uh, we're gonna let this thing charge up and when it's fully charged, we'll be back with you guys. All right guys, so our Gear OZ target model light is fully charged. Comes with household charger, car charger, a red and a green lens. And we also have determined that there's actually, don't know if you guys can see that in there, actually a laser on the side right here, which is really cool. You get high low and a laser. Now, some of the pamphlet that comes with it here, See if I can read this off to you guys. Product introduction. Target is Gear OZ's newest arrival. Target can illuminate clear up to 1,000 yards with 10 watts of powerful Cree XP LHI. Whether you are hiking or hunting, hogs, coons, predators, industrial grade rifle, red laser, aim your target precisely 100 yards away. Premium aluminum alloy, aluminium. <laughs> aluminum alloy light shell, great heat dissipation for long-term use makes a great hunting accessory and gift for your friends and family now it says right down here I don't know if you guys can read that or not but your hunting has a two-year warranty your hunting scan light has been damaged by misuse self-repair or tampering there will be no coverage all right so on the back tells you a little bit about it here well how well you guys can see this but uh, specification is the target model it's got a Cree LED bulb, it's 1,000 lumen, brightness is 90,000 lux, which is not as bright as many of our coon hunting lights out there right now. 
Uh, power is 10 watts, beam range 1,000 yards, two rechargeable 18650 batteries equipped inside. Battery capacity is 4800 megahertz, I guess, I don't know. Laser is industrial grade. The shell is aluminum alloy. Charging time is eight hours. And then the running time is 10 hours max, I guess, uh, on high. Uh, working life is supposed to last about um, one million hours. They left a comma out of there. Uh, net weight is 473 grams, which I have no clue what that you know comes out to be, but it's not too heavy. Um, it's really not. Uh, it might weigh 16 ounces, maybe. Packing list, you get one light, one home charger, one car charger, a manual, a red lens filter, and a green lens filter. So let's go ahead and take this thing outside and let's see how this thing compares to uh, coon lights that we have out. We're out using on a nightly basis, guys. I'll be honest with you, as well as it is, um, I mean, it's just a spotlight. If you, if you don't have a good spotlight or you ain't spent the money on a good cap light, I can see definitely having use for this or just feeding dogs or just having a good light around the house. And having that laser is pretty neat too, gotta be honest with you. But uh, we're gonna take it outside, see how bright this thing is. All right guys, we're out here in the driveway. We got the Gear OZ Target Spotlight. So we're gonna take this thing and uh, start shining trees with us. Um, you'll see I got a little bit of light going on here from the uh, house light behind me, but uh, we'll go ahead and hit it on high There it is guys. That thing is pretty bright You see it's got a real strong beam on it Goes to the top of the tree You see this thing pretty good. I'm Fairly impressed with this thing For just a spotlight now. Let's go to the dim. And let's do the laser. That's up in the top of the tree, guys, with the laser. You set laser way up there. My only thing I don't like about it is I wish that laser would be on with the light, because that would really help out showing the coon off when I'm filming for you guys. But uh, yeah, I think it's pretty bright. Pretty bright. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and take this thing and uh, break it down, put the red lens on there, see how it pairs with that. All right, guys, we're gonna try out the red lens on this thing. There it is, I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Focus in, pretty bright. Now this is the brightest setting on this light. Shines top of the tree really good. Go ahead and show it down the driveway a little bit. It don't reach really far, but it's pretty good for a red light. All right, now we're gonna go to the dim. That's your dim red. Pretty good. And of course, right there's your laser. All right, now we're gonna put the green lens on there. Now we're gonna try out the Gear OZ Target. Green lens on high. That thing's pretty bright. Dang, I'm pretty impressed with that thing. You know, one thing about this is it's a spotlight, not a flood. You know how a lot of lights that you buy, uh, headlamps and stuff, all these coon lights you buy now, the, all the colors are on a, uh, basically a flood light. You know, they're not a spot in the main head. And uh, this one right here, the green and the red, is in the main head in a spotlight so it's really really concentrated it makes it really bright now we'll go to the dim there's the green dim that's that's really impressive and of course third one is your laser let's go ahead and try the green down the driveway very bright and that one reaches a lot farther than the red you see some of these trees right here Overall, guys, pretty impressed, especially with the green. Especially with the green. All right, so let's go back to the bench, break it down, let you guys know my full opinion. And the biggest question is, what does this thing cost? All right, guys, so there you have it. That was the test on the gear OZ Target Light. Um, overall, I would say that is a pretty neat light. 
Um, seems to be pretty well built. The lenses, after that first time of the green getting it on there, uh, they're easy to put on. Um, I, I like the idea of a pop-on lens, but on the same token, being that they screw on there it keeps you from losing it so that's actually a better idea um, having a laser is really cool too i really like it um, so the big question is seem to be pretty bright um, but the big question is what does this thing cost so i mean if this is going to be a 300 dollars light i'd say no if it's going to be a 50 dollars light then awesome definitely jump on one so what the gear oz's website gearoz.com right here is their target model scroll down to the price 94 dollars and 99 cents so basically 95 bucks guys um, be honest with you as well built as this light is i think that that is a really fair price i am impressed with it um if i said anything was weak on this thing i'd say probably this right here is all plastic and this trigger right here you can tell it's plastic underneath it's got a little rubber um i don't know if you can see it. it's got like a little rubber bushing or boot on the end of it there um it seems to be pretty well made but i'd be kind of worried about that um but really bright guys i mean you got the red laser going on there you got high and low and of course you got green and red covers so and two different chargers pretty good light all together guys for 95 bucks i think if you're looking for a good little spotlight something you tote in the woods and throw around or have in the toolbox of the truck or again varmint hunting or anything like that i think gear oz's little spotlight here is definitely a good thing to go with so if you're looking interested hook them up at gearoz.com they're also on facebook gear oz or instagram at gear oz and uh get you one order guys so hope you like this little review hope it helped you out and uh if you have any comments feel free to leave them in the comment section below hit like on this video and if you haven't already be sure to subscribe and tell some friends it's completely free and it helps me out so we love you guys appreciate you in the meantime tree one for me